brand new Galaxy Fold versus the Moto Roller Razr. Let's jump in. So Motorola has a brand new device. It's called the Razer. It looks like the original Razer and it's also a foldable. It folds up, it opens up and it's truly unique, giving you a display at 6.2 inches uh, and a 21 by nine aspect ratio, if you will. Now, here's the kicker. When you look at the Galaxy Fold, it opens up like a book, giving you a 7.2 inch display internally and a smaller 4.3 inch display externally. Could be wrong with those numbers, but bear with me here, right? Now, what Motorola has is something that's truly unique. It's a much smaller, portable, foldable. Think of it that way. And, and the Galaxy has something that expands your horizon from being a regular smartphone to, of course, something that opens up to, into being a tablet, a seven inch tablet. Those are two different philosophies here. Now, when I put side by side in terms of looking at the crease and hinges, the crease is more visible on the Galaxy while the Motorola is less visible, highly less visible. The hinge also on the Motorola feels really sturdy, making that display feel like it's a regular display as opposed to the Galaxy feels more like a rollable display. I, I Don't get me wrong, but that's just what it feels like. The hinge in the Galaxy is good. Now, when you look at both devices, you can clearly see that the Galaxy Fold doesn't close all the way, but the Motorola closes flat because the design allows you to slide into that chin, giving you something more flush and fit. So the Motorola fits into your pocket quite easily. And that's something unique and very, very different. Now, when it comes to performance, right? Both devices are powered by Snapdragon processors, but this is where the Galaxy has the upper hand. It comes with a Snapdragon 855. It has 12 gigs of RAM, UFS uh, 3.0 uh, storage, which means much faster storage, as opposed to what you have on uh, the Motorola Razr, which is a Snapdragon 710 or older processor. And of course, you've got six gigs of RAM. So there's that difference there. But how does that compare when it comes to gaming? Both of them can play Call of Duty well. Motorola Razr does a good job. You can play on max settings, but it runs hot pretty quickly. It's a thin device. That's just the way it's going to be, as opposed to the Galaxy Fold, which can game for quite a bit and a longer period of time, I would suspect, uh, because you should have a bigger battery. And of course, go max settings on all the games you can think of. So there's the performance boost there. In terms of camera, you've got a single camera, uh, rear camera on the Motorola uh, Razr with a front facing camera internally, while the Galaxy has five cameras. There's a camera everywhere around, on the front of the device, the back of the device, and when you open up the device as well. So there are multiple cameras. And of course, you've got those ultra wide lenses, so more lenses, more cameras, uh, something that I think Samsung does well enough quite here. And that's something truly unique and different. Usability is a very interesting factor. When you look at both devices, you can say, hey, look, the Galaxy gives me a lot of footprints to do more work. So when you're multitasking, have different uh, uh, sections of the screen cut off, or you're watching even a video and having just a bigger display. Now, the Motorola Razr gives you that 621 by nine aspect ratio. So it's a very different look, but a lot of things will get cut out if you don't have that aspect ratio in mind or at least an 18 by 9. So take that in mind and of course multitasking is basically the same as every other Android device so you have that built in there as well. Now when it comes to extras of both of them they do have some nice extras. Um, Motorola comes with a charging a cradle which you can use to amplify your sound. You've also got braided cables, your travel charger and headphones from Denon which is pretty cool. Now the Galaxy does come with, of course, uh, cases within, within there. It's a, it's a Kevlar case, as well as also the Galaxy Buds that give you, of course, extra audio. Um, so you've got different options and placed in. Now when you look at it from side to side, you go, hey, look, uh, the Motorola Razr is priced at $1,500, $62, $62 on a Verizon plan, while the Galaxy Fold is priced at $1,900. So there is about a $400 or $500 difference depending, uh, but you can say, hey, look, one gives me premium specs, the other one gives me portability and uniqueness. Now you have to decide which would you go with. Would you go with the Fold that opens up to being a tablet, or would you go with the Motorola Razr that actually comes, makes itself smaller into a more portable uh, device for you? 
I want to hear your thoughts, guys. What do you think? Otherwise, don't forget to like and share, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy entertainment.